at the end of this month. That's the real good news. But a lot of scene. I did. I did. Very good. Okay. All right, I played by the rules. I didn't want to bring it home. <laughs> Mother Nature gave us just about everything she could except for 80 degrees today, which everybody would have loved. We had rain, we had thunder, we had snow, we had sun, we had calm, we had wind. Have I missed anything? Here's the hail that was falling earlier on, and uh, yes, we had a beautiful, gorgeous view across the Great Salt Lake. Keith Vaught always sends some of the most magnificent photos and then he turned the camera on the sunset. Absolutely fantastic. All right, time to talk about the next 24 hours. First of all, we look at what happened in the past, then we look at the future. And rain fell in Brigham City, 44 hundreds. Eden, five inches of snow and 1.15 inches of water. Jeff James in Northeast Ogden reporting 1.09. 92 hundredths in Ogden, Scott reports in. Not much rain in Provo, Richfield, Salt Lake a tenth of an inch, St. George 66 today, Tokerville, Rex reports 63. So warm in the south and uh, maybe not so much in the north. All right, the next 90 days, this is March through May. This is where the above normal chances are 50-50. It's going to be warmer than normal from New Mexico across Texas. We're kind of on the fringe here in northern Utah, but southern Utah, the likelihood is that we're going to be warmer than normal for the next three months and colder than normal across the north. This is a La Nina weather pattern. Precipitation, drier than normal now forecast from Denver, Colorado to Albuquerque and Phoenix. Southern Utah, you have a surplus of moisture in the snowpack, so below normal won't hurt us. Here in the north, we're way above normal and we expect normal precipitation to fall in the months of uh, March, April, and May. And those are the wettest months of the year here in Salt Lake City, so that's good news. We have some showers that have been migrating through northern Utah. Right now, a band of showers moving through the Provo area. We're getting a few uh, very, very light amounts of precipitation. There's one more weak disturbance. You can see it here. This will move through in the overnight hours and brush by northern Utah, so in the morning, there may be some wet roads, but I'm not expecting much in the way of accumulation. By Saturday, morning sunshine, afternoon clouds, and then this storm right here will slide through Sunday and bring us a chance for light rain. There's another one behind it, a much stronger storm for Monday and Tuesday. In the east, clouds in the morning, afternoon sunshine, beautiful day, Blanding 53. How about a 38 in Vernal? That's warmer than you have been. You'll see a 46 degree high in Beaver. 49 in Manti, 63 in St. George. Sunshine, beautiful weather until Monday. And this is the storm I'm talking about. Statewide, significant storminess. Might even linger into the mountains of southern Utah Tuesday. For tomorrow, lots of sunshine after morning clouds. Temperatures, 38 in Logan because of snow cover on the ground. 48 in Provo. Salt Lake City, 46. That's still below normal, but 51 Saturday, clouds in the afternoon, Sunday a chance for showers, Monday rain and snow, thunder, lightning, the whole shebang <laughs> with some snow on Tuesday, and then we're back to warm Roller and pleasant yeah. later right. in the week. Thanks. Thanks.